Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do y'all summons for June the 4th, 2023. We'll be reading Colossians chapter 2 in the New Testament. Y'all should already know who these people are. And if I have to stop, I will. All I got is laws on here, okay? So this for the lost people. This for Shanice who lost. So this for us lost people, okay? So let's begin. This is a letter again. For I desire, or this is a demand. For I desire to have you know how greatly I struggle for you and for those in Laodicea. And for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh. Okay, they talking about Kia. That their hearts may be comforted. They being knit together in love and gaining all wishes of the full assurance of understanding. That they may know the mystery of God, both of the Father and of Messiah. I done, law, I done, I done got an update on my family that I really care about, the seven, eight of them. But not really yet. Okay, this is what they're talking about right here. In whom in whom are all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge hidden? Now this I say that no one may be delude you with persuasiveness of speech. Okay. That how I've been sheltered, like I told you. That's what they say on that first one right there. For though I am absent in the flesh, yet am I with you in the spirit, rejoicing and seeing your order and the steadfastness of your faith in Messiah. See, I told you I still see their spirit. Look at my grandma now. She got took in. Her spirit got took in. I'm still upset. As therefore you receive Messiah Yeshua, the Lord, walk in him. Rooted and built up in him and established in the faith, even as you was taught, abounding in it in thanksgiving. Be careful that you don't let anyone rob you through his philosophies and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the elements of the world, and not after Messiah. For in him all the fullness of the deity dwells bodily, and in him you are made full, who is the head of all principality and power, in whom you were also circumcised with a circumcision not made with hands in the putting off of the body of the sins of the flesh in the circumcision of messiah having been buried with him in a mushroom in which you were also raised with him through faith in the working of god who raised him from the dead see they can pick they can take these spirits from me if they want to you were dead through your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh. He made you alive together with him, having forgiven us all our trespasses, wiping out the handwriting and ordainments which was against us. And he has taken it out of the way and nailing it to the cross. Having stripped the principalities and the powers, he made a show of them openly, trumpeting over them in it. There are tapes. Let no one therefore judge you in eating or in drinking or with respect to a feast day or a new moon on a Sabbath day, which are a shadow of the things to come, but the body is Messiah's. Let no one rob you of your prize by voluntary humility and worshiping of the angels, 
drilling in the things which he had not seen, vain puffed up by his fleshly mind, mind probably, and not holding firmly to the head from whom all the body being supplied and knit together through the joints and ligaments grows with God's growth. If you died with Messiah from the elements of the world, why, as though living in the world, do you subject yourself to ordainments? Don't handle, nor taste, nor touch. All of which perish with lose according to the precepts and doctrine of men, which things indeed appear like wisdom in self-imposed worship, and humility and civility to the body, but aren't of any value against the indulgence of the flesh. Okay? So that's Colossians chapter 2 in the New Testament. Hopefully, I enjoy my people.